Hi guys and welcome to your September 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Reading Week 3 bonus for the beautiful sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Everything you need is below in the description box. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams, hello to my members, my patrons, as well as my coffee club members. A couple things we have to talk about. If you're interested in going to thecoldestwater.com um, and looking at the water bottles, I actually don't have either of those products here tonight, but that's okay. You can drop below in the description box and you will see the link to their website um, that has been created for me. Go and check it out if you're interested in 32 ounce a sports bottle is the one that I have as well as the 24 ounce uh, insulate, but they're both insulated coffee mug. Okay, guaranteed to to keep your beverages cold for 36 plus hours depending on the product, and your beverages hot for 12 plus hours. Okay. Um, if you are interested in purchasing that, that you will receive 10% off of your purchase by putting readings in your checkout. If you're interested in um, taking a, uh, a bit of a trip and wanting to just go on and maybe enter your information into the giveaway, there is weekly giveaways and you can go down and put your information in and you can win a free water bottle as well. I am looking forward to um, seeing you guys over there. And if you do purchase something, um, please email me with proof of purchase. You do not have to send me your account information, just proof of purchase, and it will come to me immediately. So once we go through a bit of a, a small verification process, at that point, you will receive an email code from me giving you 15% off of a phone reading with me, okay? Right now, I am available for text questions, okay? If you text me a question, there are a total of five. The hashtags will be below in the description box. You can go and text it, and it will tell you to register if you do not have your hashtag. But you can go ahead, and for at least a limited time, one more day, I am taking those questions for $5, okay? Everything else that you need for me is below in the description box. Go and vote. Let's get started, Gemini. So this is going to be your bonus. We're going to be taking a look at the romantic intentions that the person has for you. Once we are done with those romantic intentions, Gemini Collective, we will be pulling two romance angel oracle cards that represent your particular energy, and we will clarify all the way around. The first card is new love. A new love has stirred up your romantic feelings. Okay. Justice. You deserve love. You are lovable. So right out the gate. This is a restarting of a situation between you and a person. Or your person is telling you that they have a new love. Or you have one. The situation is calling for you to have faith. With the trust card in the heart place. Okay. We also have. What else do we have for Gemini please? This person has. Okay. Come on. Two cards try to come out. Give me one. Getting to know one another. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. There has been definitely some holding back. And some lack of trust type of energy between you two. I do believe now that I see the rest of the cards coming out, this is uh, stacking up to be a bit of a resurgence in love. We do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. There is something that needs to be discussed between you two. Honestly, discuss your feelings with one another. And I, just, I am picking up on the fact that it has been hard for someone to come towards you and say what they need to say. Right now, Gemini, you should be really, really feeling really good. Your planet of uh, that your ruler is asleep. And I believe, honestly, that you guys thrive perfectly during the retrograde because it gives you a chance to cut your brain off. I say that to you guys every Mercury retrograde. And I feel like you guys can then actually catch up on some sleep, chill out. You know what I'm saying? And not have to be a Gemini for three and a half weeks or whatever, a couple times a year. You're still a Gemini, but it allows you to just take a rest, just take a load off a little bit. Um, 
And I feel like right now, if this person does come to you, please keep in mind that it is Mercury retrograde and a fellow air sign of Libra. We do have finances and career hot card. Um, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Wow. And I see exactly what it's clarifying. So yes, that's true. And what else do we have? So this doesn't feel like keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. There are some um, differences between you two. And not to mention, um, you've had to navigate through the ebbs and flows of these differences. This does not feel like that this is a relationship that's been going on for a while. Um, it does feel fairly new or it feels like there's been a bunch of stops and starts. We start here, we stop. Then when we get back together, we have to reset and do it all over again. That's what it's feeling like to me. You guys let me know. Um, there are some changes, some changes, some differences here. Um, this is not normally what you're used to. This is definitely not a relationship that this person that loves you is used to either. Not at all. They're really coming through like, what the hell is going on? Like, it's something here um, with communication, with maybe the way someone works. Something is a little unorthodox to one of both of you. Um, so let's find out how you're feeling about this. But there is a need to trust the divine, to get to know you better, to sit down and discuss uh, deter uh, their um, concerns. Also, um, and that they think you're pretty lovable. So I think with that alone, that's that. But you guys did hit a patch. Show me what Gemini feels, please. Let's get a card that represents their romantic intention. So you have let your friends help you. Ask and accept support from others. So are you the one that's going through a financial tough time right now? Um, and maybe this is about money. I hope not. But I feel like more importantly, this is a bunch of stops and starts. And because there's been more stops than it have been starts that has stuck, there has been this miscommunication between you guys. And that's what I'm saying. Ah, unrequited love. You do not feel like there is enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You're ready to throw the towel in. Um, you feel like you have your own stuff going on right now, Gemini. And you're just not where they are. They have a little bit of faith and trust. You're not really feeling it. This was really, really um, close to the Aquarius reading. Um, and it's really interesting because um, I believe that Libra was a little bit like this too. So if you're crossing with any of those energies, please go and check them out. Let's go ahead. Wow. New love. You deserve love. Trust. Getting to know one another. Heart to heart conversations. Finance and career. And keep an open mind. Right now, you are focusing on asking for support for whatever you're going through right now. Um, and you are not really thinking that this relationship is going to do anything and going to go beyond what it need, what, where, what it's looking like to you. Let's go in with Marvelous Truth. We're going to clarify all the way around. Let's start with new love. All right. So show me what we have and we have recovery. You guys are definitely coming back off of something. Now, this is very much so revealed to me that there was a stop <laughs> and this stop was a stop. And because of that, they're not feeling like um, that's why Gemini, you're you're just like, forget it. This isn't nothing. It's not going anywhere. Your person is recovering um, from something that went through something that you guys went through. Um, and I don't feel like they handled some things well, but if they're recovering, I also feel like there is a hurt that this person has as well. You deserve love being clarified by mistakes. All right. Well, they made mistakes. Some of the most beautiful things we have in life comes from our mistakes. All right. Now I'm realizing what's happening. They're recovering. You cut them off. You gave them their walking papers, Gemini. Um, they did make some mistakes. They're saying that they made mistakes and they know that you deserve love and they want to be able to come back and give it to you. All right. Now it's shaping up. Trust is being clarified by the world. All right, Saturn energy is there. The world is 21, 2 plus 1, carrying a vibration of growth, right? 
achievement, fulfillment, possibility, successful conclusions. They would like for you to trust them because now in their heart, they know that the situation is calling for you and them to have faith and they would like to come back. They realize that there have been challenges, but they would like to come back to give this another try. The world is also about integrating. Maybe they had a relationship in mind where they can do everything on their own and kind of reap the rewards of being in a relationship and not really um, taking the responsibility for the relationship. That's about to change. Getting to know you and they're going to come to you and let you know this. Um, and <laughs> they're feeling like it's a miracle. You won't talk to them. So they're feeling like, you know, um, for A, you don't believe that they're going to change. Whatever they've done has really let you know that they're not even worthy of this. But mistakes that they made let you know that they're not worthy or make you feel that they're not worthy of reconciliation. But also um, the behavior and the patterns that they've shown you so far um, really have you apprehensive about them ever changing. Heart to heart conversation is the fool. Uranus energy is here. Very hard energies to deal with. Okay, so we have Saturn. That is the ruler of Capricorn. Some of you guys are um, crossing with a Capricorn in some shape, way, form, or fashion. This is the fool. Ruling planet is Uranus. Again, this is air energy. And Uranus rules Aquarius. So there can be an Aquarius here. This is the beginning before the beginning. So they want to start. And walk toward the beginning and with the risk and rewards. They don't need to know all of the answers. They want to just move forward. Beginnings, innocence, leap of faith, originality, and spontaneity. They want to talk to you about moving forward in this relationship or giving it another chance. Clarify finances and career. We do have the magician. A lot of air energy. More air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now they want, they have the food. Now they have all of the tools in their arsenal to do exactly what they want to walk into the beginnings. This one carries the vibration of new beginnings, okay? Or beginnings. This is Mercury. Mercury is retrograde. That's the magician. Determined, dexterity, resourceful, skill, strong, and powerful. Um, they um, get wrapped up into their career, um, they, you could be crossing with a Libra man or a Libra woman. I'm not sure what this is, but obviously the air signs are here, um, including yourself. And this person, um, did or is having some type of finances and career crisis. And maybe they disconnected. Um, and I don't feel like they put their career or finances before you. I just feel like obviously that, they didn't communicate how you felt like their feelings for you got lost in the shuffle and they got so caught up doing what they wanted to do. And there was a lot of inconsistency. So it was easy for you to write this off, Gemini. Keep an open mind, being clarified by the throat chakra. I told you they did not communicate. So you were just like, OK, well, obviously, if you're not saying nothing, um, then you don't care. And let me preface by saying, Gemini, you know, some things you ab you absolutely should say. I've been having this conversation and this debate with people about conversations and communication and what you should say versus what you shouldn't say. Let's let me give you a little side note. D I'm not superhuman when it comes down to communication because no one is. Sometimes you want to say something to someone and you're afraid that you're going to hurt their feelings. All I am challenging my collective to do, my collective, my tribe, people that trust what I say and my gifts, I challenge you and charge you with the fact that if you are a responsible adult, you just have to find a way to say it. I didn't put a timeline on it. I'm not professing to be superhuman. You have to just find a way to say it. You have, you have to know when to talk, know when to listen. And it's just the balancing act. You shouldn't over talk. You shouldn't over listen and not talk. It's just one of those things. So that was a comment that I got and it wasn't insulting. So there was no clap back. As you guys say, I don't even understand where that comes from. That's another story. We'll talk about that on the first one. We go live comments are definitely going to be on the agenda. But anyway, um, I just feel like this is representative, especially if they want to have a heart to heart talk of what they didn't say. And in my deck, when the, tra the chakra comes up, it, it comes up to let you know that these are all of the things that didn't happen, obviously. And this is what should have happened. 
Um, and uh, affirmations is here. I am open and honest in my communication. I have a right to speak my truth. I live an authentic life. I nourish my creativity and self-expression and I know when to listen. This is just a few of the affirmations for the throat chakra. I didn't want to give you a definition of what it meant. I wanted to give you something to affirm to. Okay. So that is what they should have done. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify your stuff. Let your friends help you is being clarified by Leo. So you actually have Leo instead of the major arcana. You have a major arcana. I'm sorry. You do have Leo. Here we go. Strength. The card of eight. Eight is about, it carries a vibration of movement. Okay. So something needs to happen here. Something needs to happen. We're talking about fire. This is the sun. Confidence, enjoying power, inner strength, potency, self-belief. Okay. Virility. What is all of this? You are asking for support right now. You have something very personal going on. You could be crossing Gemini with a Leo. Um, maybe you're borrowing some of their fire to get you out of the slump. There's something that maybe it was this relationship that caused you to go into this. What the hell is going on type of person, like type of situation. But this is where you are. Okay. And then unrequited love who is being clarified by high priestess. All right. So then we have water here. High priestess is ruling planet. The ruling planet is the moon. The element is water. Unrequited love. There is hidden talents, intuition, mystery, spiritual insight, things yet to be revealed about this unrequited love. Um, it is the number two. Two carries the vibration of balance. I don't necessarily think that there is 100% unrequited love. Strength and high priestess. This strength is something that you're tapping into. I don't believe that it is a full-blown unrequited love, but that is how you're feeling, Gemini. That makes complete sense. Um, they are tired of the stop and starts. They are coming towards you with their truth. And what they want to tell you is that they made a mistake and that they would like to move forward consistently in your life this time. They held their words back, but they're coming with their truth. They have the right to speak their truth. Okay. So we're going to find out about more of this. They are recovering from, you know, losing you. And they knew what you meant to them. They don't have to realize that they love you at all. They're realizing that they were wrong and that they made a mistake and they would like to come back. They're coming with the truth of their heart. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I'll see you in the main video. Make sure you go vote for your upload schedule, Gemini. And congratulations for not being the bottom two. I love it, love it, love it for you and Virgo. Thank you so much for voting. Make sure you go out there and vote for October. And it's going to be posted on October the 1st. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. <music>